Wildlife conservation strategies around the world rely heavily upon GPS tracking data to understand the behavior and needs of animal populations. The data gathered from the movements of individual animals tells a story about their daily lives, the range of resources they depend upon, and the struggles they face. Let's take a glimpse into the real world of three different animal populations in Eastern Africa. Elephants, wildebeest, and lions. Meet Manyara, a 26-year-old elephant who lives in Manyara Ranch, a privately owned protected area in Tanzania that is home to 10 elephant herds. This is the path she traveled over a time period of five months. Manyara's herd of 30 elephants mostly stays near the Makieni River, where it finds ample food, water, and protection. Sometimes, however, quick forays into surrounding areas near human settlements are necessary to satisfy the elephant's nutritional needs. A greater variety of acacia trees and mineral supplements force the herd to travel to the edges of its home range. Here we can see that Manyara and her herd regularly cross a highway to the north to reach a salt pan, which provides minerals essential to the elephant's diet. Moving north into Kenya, we can witness one of nature's grandest events, the migration of the wildebeest. We arrive at the Loita Plains near Masai Mara National Park. These are the movements of 12 wildebeest, representing the 30,000 wildebeest in the Loita herd. Wildebeest move with the grass, preferring nutritious sprouts that follow the fresh rain. Nyatu is an eight-year-old female in the Loita herd. Curiously, Nyatu leaves her herd in November, at the start of the rainy season, to travel through the Serengeti in Tanzania. She has joined up with the one million wildebeests of the Serengeti herd. Nyatu stays in the Serengeti to feed on the fresh grass throughout the rainy season. The following June, we watch Nyatu journey back north to rejoin the Loiter herd, where the dry season is just underway. This behavior teaches us about the value of maintaining continuity across borders to preserve the complex and wondrous patterns of rain, grass, and wildebeest. From the Loiter Plains, we move northeast to take a glimpse into the lives of two lions. We stop outside of Nakuru National Park at the Soy Sambu Conservancy in Kenya. Lions travel almost exclusively at night, and tracking data provides much insight into their nighttime behavior. Fleur and Valentine are sisters who live with their six adolescent cubs near Lake Elementita. As a pride, they remain close to each other 90% of the time for protection, cooperative hunting, and social bonding. When Valentine is ready to find a mate, she makes two trips into the adjoining Nakuru National Park. She remains in the area for approximately three days each time, probably accompanied by a male lion. On her second trip back to her pride, we see that something is blocking her way. The once non-functioning electric fence has been fixed and she cannot get through. Valentine becomes stressed and hungry and nearly dies. Researchers intervene to transport Valentine back to Fleur and the rest of the pride. Soon after, she gives birth to three new cubs. Conservationists use GPS tracking data to fully understand the home range and resource needs of animals like the elephants, wildebeest, and lions. At Internet of Elephants, we are working to extend the reach of this type of data beyond research. By bringing the real-life stories told by GPS data to life, we can engage people around the world in the daily lives of animals, and ultimately, in conservation.